So that's a super cute little activity, doesn't take very long to do. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy Halloween activity, there's one right there for you at the start of this video. Hello and welcome back to another Home Education Journey UK video. It is Thursday the 21st of October. It's currently about 2.30pm. We've had a bit of a chilled morning. I had an appointment earlier. Um, we've just been chilling a bit at my mum's again because the kitchen's still being done. And we're just going to do a couple of hours structured sort of learning now. I thought I'd grab the camera and show you guys what we're up to. A few Halloween activities. Um... Yeah, lots of resources to show you that we've got that I knew that I haven't showed you guys yet. Pardon, darling? Activities. Activities, which you're doing right now, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to say what you're doing? I'm making pumpkins. Pumpkins. How are yeah. you making pumpkins? Um, well, we're using an apple and then we're stamping them, but mine haven't come out really well, so I'm just painting over them. You're just touching yours up? Yeah. Dipping half an apple into the orange paint and then onto your paper. Yeah. And then when it dries, my hair. What? oh, my hair. <laughs> orange hair. And then when it dries, Millie, what are you going to do then? I'm gonna draw faces on them. Draw faces on them using sharpie pens. Yes. And if you decide if you're gonna do a background on yours to make a scene, yeah, I am. You are. I'm gonna do like a porch and then like lights and stuff. That sounds lovely. I can't wait to see that when that's all dried. <laughs> Mwah. And Alfie, love you too. Alfie, where's your pumpkins, babes? <laughs> Here. Oh, they're cool. Alfie's done his now and you can even see the little stalks on yours, mate. They're really cool. Just going to wait for those to dry. And then what are you going to do? Because you weren't going to do a seam, were you? Are you doing a pumpkin seam? No, so I've put like a, I've crammed as many pumpkins. I haven't crammed them all, but I've put as many pumpkins as I like a one to one. And then instead of doing a seam, I'm just going to stick faces on You're going to draw some faces on? Yeah. So that's a super cute little activity, doesn't take very long to do. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy Halloween activity, there's one right there for you at the start of this I'm video. An Pardon? An Eating an apple, but not the one that's got paint yeah. on. I'm just going to yeah. see what Don't Ted... waste food. <laughs> I'm just going to see what Ted's is up to. What are you doing, Ted's? Ted obviously didn't want to do the um, pumpkin prints because of the paper. Need to, need to touch paper. What are you doing, I'm darling? I'm going to like try and just draw pumpkins well. I'm tra like, trying to trace them. Got on at the minute. Just going to trace some pumpkins. Ah, that's what you've been doing lately on there, haven't you? Finding pictures for things and then tracing them and then making them your own. Yes. <laughs> that looks cool. So everyone's doing something pumpkin-y at the minute. So whilst the kids are quickly doing, um, not quickly, but while the kids are doing a craft activity, I'm going to quickly show you the few bits that we had delivered the other day from Baker Ross. I've got a few more at home. Oh, but these ones are just Halloween and autumn ones. And then the ones at home are winter. So I'll show you those on one of our next videos. I'll just turn the camera around now and quickly show you guys. So these are the few bits that I got from Baker Ross. We've got some autumn animals these look super cute actually and you color them in and then you do a cross stitch in the middle i think you get five yep five creatures Are you gonna do that? that was about five pounds yes darling we are going to do them Yay! and then we got some fuzzy art decorations we've had quite a few of these they're really good they're like the big board you can buy with the fuzzy um felt outline so the pens don't go over the lines they're really really good to color the um color in these ones we've had a few over the years but we've got spiders this time they were about four ninety nine as well, and you get fifteen in there. You like Teddy? I just drew like a little like ghost spirit. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. I like that. That's really cool. Shay Mills. Oh, that's cool, Teddy. I didn't trace it or anything. It's really cool. I like that one. Yes. I want to try and give it like a. Just like okay, I'll try and do it now. Uh, I'll try and give it like a <laughs> oh, I like his hair. It's <laughs> really cute. Um, and then the other thing we've got is um, Baker Ross have started doing these. I think I showed them on one of our vlogs. Um, it might have been early this year, but they do um, the craft it boxes for eight ninety nine. They are at the minute on um, I think eight pound eight ninety nine. Normally about eleven or twelve pound. But the box itself is really good because you can colour it in, and then inside you get two or three activities. It depends on the box and a magazine i've not opened this yet so i'm showing you guys at the same time that i'm opening it so you get a, a sheet of stickers so you've got leaves and things for autumn and then you get an activity book 
with lots of little bits in to do. Oh, you cheeky rascal, which is super cool. And then you also get two activities. So we've got the autumn reef decorations. So you get little woodland animals in there. That's really, really cute. Oh, that's a really cute one. Mills, you'll like doing that. And then the... We did a similar one last year, yeah. yeah can yes, two sticks and you can show. Okay. And then the other thing we've got looks like autumn stained glass, um, glass decoration kit, and they look like leaves as well. They look really cool. You really? cut all the bit. You cut. Yeah, remember we've done them before. You cut the little bits of paper out and then you stick them on the outline. Yeah. Yeah. These are really, really good. Like I said, I've got a couple more of these, but they're winter and Christmas, so I'll show you guys those ones at a different time. But those are the crafts that we bought from Baker Ross for our autumn and Halloween decorations this year. Right, Miss, what do you want to show them? Okay, so, okay. It's basically, you know in the romantic movies when they're like four, like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to do that, but I know how to stay up, kind of. Are they? Yep. Oh. <laughs> did you want to? Oh, you did more pumpkins. Do you want to show yeah. them? I just did them. Wow, they're so cool, Millie. Thank you. They really look like pumpkin shapes, don't they? Yeah. Also, it's cool because every pumpkin is different. That's why they are all different. You've got to wait for them to dry now. Yeah. What did you want to show, babes? Go for my spirit hair. <laughs> That's what you do. You do loads of them. They've all done the pumpkins. You can do loads yeah. of goats and give them all different hairs. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you try and do our family? Yeah. <laughs> yeah do an afro one. Do an That'd be really cool. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to quickly show you, which is autumn or Halloween related, craft wise, is this that I ordered that I bought from the range the other day. It, this was fifteen pounds, and it's a cardboard um, tray. And you colour it in and build it. The kids have started colouring in these two bits um, the other day. I did the cat one. You did the cat, and Alfie's done that one, hasn't he? And we're going to put it hopefully in our front garden for our Halloween um, oh. hunt next week if it doesn't rain. So fingers crossed. Mate, I'm fully so That's a super now. cute activity. Also good, like it's got doors and stuff. I think so the kids can play in it. So might be something to go and Mate. have a look at. Anyway, the range have a good selection at the minute. Mom, yes, I'm fully grown. Fully grown. Put the camera down <laughs> with the help of the sofa. Really, with the help of the sofa. Help of the sofa. <laughs> So Mills, Mills wants to do one of these now whilst her pumpkins are drying. What have we got, Millie? We've got a bear. Uh, We've a got bear. a squirrel, squirrel. A fox. fox. A badger. A badger. And a penguin. And an owl. An owl. Penguin. Yeah. Which one are you going to do, penguin. babes? Uh, hmm, can I do two? Yeah. They're only um, doing. Which one do you want to do first? Do the penguin. The owl. I, I, I was going to call it a penguin. <laughs> you want to do the penguin? Yeah. Okay. You'll never guess what, Camera. You'll never guess what, guys? What What will we not guess at, Teddy? Yeah. <laughs> I like the curly hair one the best. The little one looks like a baby. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that one. That won't be me. My favourite. And are you using notability to do that again, babe? Good old trusted notability. So Alfie is busy in a way over here at the minute. We've got a puzzle on the go here. We got this from the works the other day, five pound actually. And it's a really cute one. Can you guess who chose it? <laughs> it's Little Miss. And we're doing well on it. We started it on Monday. It's now Thursday and we're doing well. Right, Alfie. Hello. We've taken up all of Granny's um, house, aren't we today? <laughs> she doesn't mind though. What are you doing, babes? Uh, she designed the cover for the World War II uh, workbook thing. World War II, that's looking really cool mate. Okay. Really cool. Are you getting inspiration from this book? Could you tell? It looks awesome. Mills is here as well for what she was doing yesterday. Finishing it off from yesterday aren't you? Yeah, I'm manoeuvring all of these circle bits. Oh is that what you're doing and first? You can see, and you can see the mess. Oh! <laughs> um, can I have my pencil case or what granny's Oh yeah sorry I thought that was yours. Flat there's gold. yours darling. But well, you're using it out when you're using the other ones aren't you? Yeah. yeah there's your one. The pumpkin activity that the kids were doing a little while ago actually come from an activity booklet that I downloaded from The Curious Little Monkey. We spoke about these before in the past. They do really, really good activity books, topic books, loads and loads of different things. I'll link their website down below and also their Instagram account because they're really, really good. But I was just going to show you guys, if I can find it, where it is and what mine have been working on this week. Here we go. It. I'll turn it around and show you. So this is the activity book 
the Halloween one. Printed it off for Millie and um, Alfie. And then Ted is obviously doing it on his iPad on Notability. But they've already done a bit, bit of it at the back here. Sort of been working through it for the past week or so. We've got all of next week to keep dipping in out of it as well. But it's the um, themed activity pack Halloween edition. And there's so many activities in it for the kids to do. I'll just flick through and show you a couple of pages. Loads of colouring in. Loads of different design things you can do. There's also some cooking and baking activities and different crafts ideas. More colouring in. There's also some things to research as well. Like there's a spider study. There was a bat one and a cat one they were doing the other day. And also the learning about the background of Halloween and where it came from. Full of loads and loads of stuff. So definitely worth going and having a look at that. Also got poems to make. Word searches. More colouring in. And there's some story writing ideas as well. Somewhere. Oh, I can't actually get it to show you. <laughs> there we go. So the start of the story and then you've got to finish it off there. So much stuff. That's really, really good. If you're stuck for Halloween ideas, go and check that one out. Anyway, link it down below, like I said earlier. Guys, I've just noticed that when I was popping these out, now it looks like it snowed. Oh, I meant to say, Millie, yesterday the kids yeah. finished, I think I showed it on the last week's vlog or the week before, the Kiwi Co Box, our monthly subscription that we get. Um, I think it costs us about £20 because it comes from America, I think it is. But I showed you that we'd bought the ro walking robot to do, but we didn't get a chance to finish it um, whilst I was recording that day. We finished it yesterday. The beauty of home ed, isn't it? It's just pick it up leave it there and carry on with it a different day we finally got around to finishing it yesterday it's really good isn't it millie the robot yeah so um i filmed once we finished i didn't actually get any footage of the kids doing it i might have got a photo i'm not sure um but i'll link now anyway and show you quickly um the finished result of how it looks it's super super cute they had to do it all themselves it's got a little um, battery pack they had to wire it put the wires together and then build the robot super good for um steam steam or stem steam science what is it science technology engineering i can't remember <laughs> i don't know but it's really good for stem anyway it's really good for um strengthening those skills the so tedsy's doing some work on code kingdoms aren't you tedsy yeah, i'm doing the spartan school one so what are you doing on code kingdoms at the minute Chick? um just um so basically i'm making um new mobs spawn and making like files for the mobs so I could do whatever I want with them, so I could put a zombie in full diamond armour and a diamond sword if I wanted to. And I, there's like things like giants and stuff on there, I don't know what that's about. So um, what's the bit that you've done then, Tedsy? So I've spawned these. You've put the code in to spawn these zombies? Yeah, I've put, well, yeah. Oh, awesome. And, and then I've also got put the code in to give them a stone sword. And I've also put the code in to make me spawn with a stone sword. Oh, awesome, mate. Thanks. And I've also put the code in to turn it to night. <laughs> well done, well, Chick. Help me. Yeah, help me put it in. Okay, and stuff. But I'm not done with the code yet. So um, That's awesome, chicken. You like your code kingdoms, don't you? Yes, this is the code. That's the code to get... Um, to, to, to just do what I showed you. Oh, wow, so there's a lot. You have to type a lot in then. Well, it is here, so you just, like, touch it up and... Uh, yeah, but you have to put a lot in to get it to do one thing. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. Like, yeah. There's more, there's more, like, stuff in there, like... When you respawn, you've got to like put a whole method in to set. So you respawn with a sword or whatever. Oh, okay. You've got to put a whole method in, like a whole one of those. Well done, chicken. Thanks. And one day I'll be so good at it, and I'll be able to do it my own mods. Yes, you will. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Oh, you can add a new one. You can make a new one. That is so cool. You can make like a whole mod with like dragons and like riding jack and Adjourn. Because with texture packs, you replace the thing, so you wouldn't have you wouldn't have a bow and arrow anymore. Um, you would have a, a gun and an arrow. It would still act the same, but a mod you actually get a new, brand new item, and then like it actually acts differently. So that's really cool. Awesome, baby. Thanks. I love you. Love you too. So as you can see, Ted spends a lot of his structured learning doing Code Kingdoms and also um, yeah. editing stuff for his YouTube channel and Numerize which is perfect example of home ed and for us working to their strengths and what they enjoy doing. 
learning happens when they're enjoying themselves I'm and having this. fun. You are, aren't you? Doing a great job with that chicken. Thank you. Busy bee. So when um, Alfie and Millie tend to do more craft side things, Ted will often do okay. something on his iPad notability, whether that's drawing on there or a lot of the time Code Kingdoms and um, also he's loving Numerai still. So yeah, it's just good how you can tailor a home ed day to suit all three of them fairly easily really. You're doing a great job on there, chick. Thank you. That is looking awesome, babe. Surprise, this is what it looks like on the back. <laughs> I said, Alf, how do you like cross it? And he said, it's all right. And then I said, just joking, you know, this is what it looks like. <laughs> it looks great, baby. And I think it looks a lot better. It looks awesome. Than this. Yeah, but we'll only see the front anyway, won't we? Yeah. Right. He was so good as well. If you like rub your finger on there. Oh yeah. It's really nice. Nice and soft. <laughs> I missed a step on here, I think. But it just is across and it isn't got that joined up. <laughs> oh well. It's looking awesome. Thank you. So it's clear to see where their passions lie and their interests. And yeah, each child is completely different, aren't they? It doesn't matter how they're brought up, um, they're all going to be different and enjoy doing different things. And you can just see how passionate Ted always is when he's talking about his code kingdoms or his numerize or his editing. That's definitely along the lines of what he's going to do when he's older, I think. If I'll place a bit now, that's what I would uh, think. So it makes sense for him to spend a lot of his time doing stuff like that. <sighs> and sit. So I was talking about the World War Two, and then my phone died and I also had to grab another recording device. And I was just saying that, yeah, Millie um, started asking lots of questions about it. And that's how we often do a lot of our home ed is by child ed learning, going by their interests and where they're, um, asking questions or wanting to learn about it is that's when they're going to retain the information more so the chatty zebra um when i was looking for resources and books off amazon and i got some ebooks and there's loads of youtube channels that are obviously safe for the children just using a few youtube channels so um what is it is it nat geo nat geo was that it I think it was Nat Geo YouTube channel and also um, Ted Ed have got loads on of um, World War Two. So it's those sort of web um, YouTube channels which you know are going to be okay um, for the kids. Yeah, so the um, Chatty Zebra curriculum do loads of topic booklets with um, a list of resources and it's just a guided way of covering all the different um, areas and I think I've mentioned her before because we've used her before to do um topic work a prehistoric one we use the um chatty zebra for that so i'll just quickly flip the camera around and show you now the booklet that i printed off for ted and millie no sorry alfie and millie and ted is also then i've downloaded it straight over um to notabilities so he can use it through there so that's the front although they're not using this one there like i showed you earlier doing their um own cover for their topic work and that's alfie's finished how amazing is that looking so good um yeah, so basically it gives you, which I love, an introduction and it gives you areas to research. But then it actually gives you a whole list of books. And I went through this list and just picked out a couple on Amazon and ordered those. But I love the fact that it gives you that. Cause sometimes you just don't know where to start when you're researching things. And then it gives you um, useful websites. So yeah, that, Nat Geo has got a um, YouTube channel some more there and then a list of films Ooh, here as well which we'll have a look through and pick out a couple to do with the kids during this project it's going to be quite a lengthy one i think quite a lot to it but we're in no rush um quick flick i show you just some of the pages like there is absolutely loads um what was world war ii adolf hitler i'm just grabbing a few which countries did um Adolf Hitler invade one second darling draw a little ship so she's so much so definitely worth checking her out if you're going to do a topic or unsure of a topic and then um, picking one and like I say the World War Two one is one of interest in our house at the minute so the books we're working on at the minute which are open because the kids were using them are this one DK find out World War Two I'll link them all on Amazon this one as well Story of the Second World War for Children. Really good, lots and lots of pictures in there. I mean, information for my kids going so much better if there's pictures as well to look at. It's just seeing and visualizing. 
seem to work better. So those two. Also got this one, which is absolutely amazing. We're reading this together at the minute, group reading. I'm reading it out loud. What a beautiful book. It's got little bits to open, little things that you can lift, little letters and you open, you can see inside. Definitely recommend this book. Even if you, it's really sweet, isn't it? Even if you're not doing the full topic on World War Two, it's still just a lovely book to see what a child, she's nine, um, went through during World War Two. So definitely, definitely recommend that one. I'll link that one down below because that one was from Amazon. Also got two off Audible, Good Night Mr. Tom and Spies, Code Breakers and Secret Agent. And then there was two on um, Borrow Box, which is an app linked to the library. I'll leave a link to that down below. I have mentioned it before, but we got World War, Woeful Second World War, Horrible Histories as an um, e-book and also The Diary of a Young Girl and Frank. So plenty of books and resources to keep us going for now um, at the start of this topic anyway. Plenty more to look at if we're um, stuck for more information, but lots to get us started anyway. How are you getting on with that little miss? Let's have a look. I'm almost How far finished. How are we? Ooh, so, I'm almost so from close. Doing the top. I'm almost finished from doing the top. Oh. But I really enjoy it. I really like seeing like the thing go in and out. It's, yeah, it's, it's so easy watching it going in and out and in and out. It really is, isn't it? Really, I really good. love it, but I need to, good. how many times have I told string. you, how many times have I like, asked for more, asked for more <laughs> keep string. running out, that's okay, keep, like, I'll get you some more. Out. I find it so appreciate when it goes in and out, because yeah, but I keep asking mum for more string. Because you're getting through it, aren't you? I'm it was in through. through. Really you are, you're enjoying it. What I was saying is, um, the colours that I've done for the scarf and the hat, and this, um, the jumper, I think they're all in the tub, so they have a cyan, kind of, light blue. I think they have a dark blue in there as well. Yeah, so it'll colours. match them. It will. <laughs> I'm going to change yes. that string now. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> We've also done one of these that I showed you a bit ago, done a little squirrel. <laughs> so cute. Wait, wait, Out wait, of wait, our we'll, we'll Baker there. Ross hold it, hold it box. <laughs> it's even, it looks even cuter now. <laughs> Why the government churned out national broadcasts which denied Nazi atrocities, the Shoals learned shocking truths. And yet they were still subject to the rules of life in Hitler's Germany. Do you want to see it? Yes. Wow! That looks so cool. We've done but all of the jumper. Listen, listen to this, really. You should be proud. <laughs> I'm going to do the hat. You should be so proud of that. I need the sorry hat. I'm very proud. Well done, darling. Thank you. So it is quarter past five. We're just finishing up here now. The kids are just watching a bit more about um, World War Two while I'm just having a tidy up here. Um, I wanted to quickly show you guys, I forgot earlier, these that I got from B&M this morning, pound fifty comes with everything according to the box so we're going to do these next week but I wanted to show you guys in case anyone else is interested and fancies popping to B&M see if they can get some £1.50 you can't really argue with those and um, also thank you to everyone who's um, entered the, comp the um, Zoom Writers competition we're going to be announcing the winner shortly once I get back home so stay tuned to find out who's won that. I'm about to head back now home, but I'm gonna carry on the video back home because I want to show you what the kitchen is looking like now. Also, we've got some um, Halloween decorations up, which I wanna show you guys, and maybe have a look at the um, robot as well. So I'll catch you guys when we get back home. So we're back home. Apologies for the quality of these last couple of videos. I'm on a different, different recording device and it's not the best quality. But back home, I wanted to show you the update of the kitchen. So we're three weeks in and I'm standing in the doorway, ta-da, we now have units, it's not the best quality I know because of the lack of light in here now, but yeah, sink, units there, the um, double oven will go there and the hob on top there and we've got units to go all along here and another, well it'll be the washing machine there and the dishwasher will be going in there and then over here we've got a double um, unit which we're going to have coffee and tea making facilities and hopefully the hot chocolate station another couple of units on there and then the double american fridge freezer will be going in that gap there 
and then we have all these boxes <laughs> over the other side but yeah really chuffed with that so these are the halloween decorations excuse the um date i haven't changed it for two days because we haven't pretty much haven't been here but this is what millie's done got our um seasonal tree and then little plushies autumn words little pumpkins super cute and then on here that's this year's autumn display well done to everybody who won our competition your names are on screen now so we'll stay in touch and we'll give you the details for the zoom call thank you for everyone else thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video please leave a like